Hi, Facebook. Man, I am dragging today. And I'm really trying hard not to hit the coffee too much because I don't want to become dependent on it. Usually what I'll do is I'll have my first cup of coffee at like 5 in the morning when I get here. And then, like, that'll start to wear off around 8 ish and if I really need another one I'll have another one and if I really need more I'll have like a Red Bull to like get me going but I felt like I was falling into a pattern where I like need started to need that second cup of coffee and that's not a good place to be anyway we'll discuss more after we dish we do a little bit of dishing a little sip from Billy's bowl it's the daily dish on Weird Al Yankovic and John Stamos are going to be starring in a live concert version of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Unfortunately, it's going to be a one-off thing. Two nights, November 3rd and 4th, at the Hollywood Bowl. So it'll probably be hard for most of us to get out there for it. John Stamos will play Willy Wonka, and Weird Al will be the Oompa Loompas. It'll be interesting to see how they orchestrate that. Finn Wolfhard from It and Stranger Things will play Charlie Bucket, and they got a bunch of other celebrities lined up for the show as well, including Giancarlo Esposito from Breaking Bad and L. King. Gotta wonder why they didn't put this together as a TV special, like some of the major networks have been doing each year lately. And I guess that's partially because it will be presented in Smellorama, with each audience member being given a special scratch-and-sniff golden ticket on the way in. I guess that kind of thing just doesn't translate well to TV. Antivirus company McAfee, or is it pronounced McAfee? I can never tell. Either way, they put out a list of the most dangerous celebrities to search for online. The ones who, if you search for them, are most likely to end up with you getting a virus. The number one result? Avril Lavigne. In fact, uh, the entire top ten is musicians because of the simple fact that it's easy to unload a virus onto someone who's searching the internet for free music. Searching for Avril Lavigne free MP3 results in a 22% chance of landing on a malicious website. This makes Avril the first female celebrity to take the number one spot on the McAfee Most Dangerous Celebrities list, which is certainly an interesting accomplishment. Rounding out the top ten are Bruno Mars, Carly Rae Jepsen, Zayn Malik, Celine Dion, Calvin Harris, Justin Bieber, Diddy, Katy Perry, and Beyonce. Macklemore put out a new track with Kesha called Good Old Days off his album Gemini, which is due out on Friday. In addition to being his first solo album since he split up with former partner Ryan Lewis, remember that? Their old title was officially Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, although pretty much everyone only mentioned Macklemore. His new album isn't as socially conscious as his previous work. He said, quote, I don't want to make music because I feel like I have to or because that's what people expect. I think music is resistance, even if it doesn't touch on those issues specifically. Or, you know, music could just be music for the sake of art and entertainment. Not everything has to have some kind of higher purpose. That's what made Thrift Shop so great. It was just a fun song about going to thrift stores. There wasn't any agenda or hidden meaning behind it. Sometimes it's nice to just have a good time. In all honesty, I do think that's probably what he means. You can do your part in alleviating the stress of the world, which, you know, just by helping people relax and forget their troubles for a bit. Everyone can play a part, which is encouraging. And to think, all this deliberation spawning from a Macklemore quote. Jeez, maybe that's what he means. we got to stop before we delve any deeper into the works of the great poet Macklemore. The Kid in the Morning, next. So next, immediately next, we got tickets to go see Cardi B at the Times Union Center, October 21st. Those tickets are going on sale uh, Friday, 10 a.m., two days from now, but you can, you know, win them before you can buy them. Typical deal. Get your access, you know, early access to this kind of stuff. Uh, then we got Mike Epps is coming to the Palace, October 6th. We'll have those tickets at just after 8, like 8, 10-ish. And then another chance at Mac to School just after 9. Get qualified for that free MacBook Pro. Uh, give that away this Friday afternoon at 440, and we'll be doing that for the next couple of weeks. But back to the caffeine. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, this week has just felt like it's been super long, right? Like all day yesterday I was thinking it's Wednesday, and it's not, you know, obviously we had Labor Day recently, but that was a couple weeks ago. It's not like we're just coming off a four-day weekend, and now this week it's like, oh, okay, the second week back after a holiday weekend is weird. It's like it's been it's like the third week back after, so I don't understand why this is happening to me. And I do get i do have like a, a burst of energy whenever we you know do facebook live it's like when i know people are watching me it's a little bit more easy to be animated but when i'm just sitting here alone in the studio like this is why one of the reasons why i don't just live stream 24 7 from the studio not because i'm doing anything that i want to hide but it's like you know a lot of it is just me sitting here listening to the music 
waiting for the next time I gotta talk. And that's not interesting to anybody. So, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes when I really am dragging, I go hit the NOS. That's my, like, that's my emergency, like, in case of emergency break glass, it's like, NOS is my favorite energy drink, which I have one in my car, but I don't, I don't want to do it. Try to avoid that. I'm going to see IT tonight. Have you seen IT? If you have, and you're watching this in time, I guess leave a comment. Let me know how good it was, because I've heard nothing but good things. But I'm also sort of afraid of being unable to go to sleep alone in my room tonight, because things like that wig me out. So anyway, uh, we'll be back in about three hours, 10.30, sharp, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. we got two more episodes this week, because we do it Monday through Thursday, Eastern Time. Best time zone, only time zone that matters. So we'll catch you then. Thanks for listening, watching, tuning in. And until then, peace be with you.